The coastline of Pensene is a truly spectacular stretch of North Wales, jutting out into the tumultuous waters of the Irish Sea and subject to the ever-changing moods of weather systems rolling in off the Atlantic. For many people visiting this area or wandering the length of its coastal path, the diverse mix of habitats and wildlife it contains are amongst the real delights that draw countless thousands of people to this special area of Wales every year. One of the real jewels which can flourish along these stretches of exposed coastal land is the mix of vibrant wildflowers and species-rich grasslands which transform the landscape into a blaze of colour and sweet scents from spring to autumn every year. When the land management of these areas is appropriate, the strip of land around Pensleyan's coastline is able to support an important and unique mix of wildflowers and plants which flourish in the salty exposed conditions this coastline affords. What many people perhaps do not appreciate as they wander past these sometimes spectacular blooms of wildflowers is the careful management it takes to ensure these ecosystems can flourish and the work being done to try expanding this strip of nature-rich land around our coast. Grazing from livestock like cattle and sheep is an important player in the management of these areas, but it has to occur at the right intensity at the right time of year. The Thien Partnership is a partnership of landowners, conservation bodies and farmers on Penthian seeking to improve the management of their land to achieve more diverse and resilient ecosystems. One of the key activities being carried out on those farms involved is the expansion of the so-called coastal strip and improved livestock management to allow more wildflower rich grasslands to exist. In some areas, lack of any grazing on the coastal slope has resulted in tussocky grasses and dense scrub such as bracken and bramble smothering the land, preventing the wildflowers that can otherwise exist here. On these farms, a key activity is trying to allow grazing animals such as cattle, sheep or horses to browse the land at key times of the year, particularly in the winter months and early spring. The livestock are then removed from the coastal strip in April and May to allow the wildflowers and diverse grasslands to bloom. The provision of infrastructure such as drinking water for the livestock, fencing, kissing gates along the coastal path and public interpretation are key interventions that allow for this change in management to take place, as well as communicating to the public the need to keep dogs under control in areas that livestock are present. In other coastal areas, the grazing pressure from farmed livestock is too intense throughout the year and does not allow for the flowering of any wild flowers. In these areas, the Thleen Partnership is working to expand the coastal strip and fence off sections that can be excluded from grazing pressure for the key flowering periods during springtime. At Kurt Farm near Abedaron, for example, new earth banks have been built to widen the coastal strip and allow for more diverse seasonal management of fields which have previously been grazed or cultivated up to the edge of the coastline. These changes in management allow the wonderful habitat of coastal grassland and wildflowers to thrive, with far-reaching benefits to the wider landscape and ecosystem, supporting a wealth of insects, birds and animals across the coastline, from mammals like the brown hare to scarce bird species like the red-billed chuff, which feed on invertebrates in the soil and in the dung of livestock, to the colourful yellowhammer, and a whole host of amazing invertebrates. Moths like the six-spot bonnet, iridescent green tiger beetles skittering along the coastal footpath, and rare species of mining bee like the large mason bee, which is found nowhere else in the UK. These more diverse grasslands also have a number of benefits to the farm systems. They can improve the health of livestock, with many species containing medicinal properties. Some species, such as the bird's foot trefoil, have deeper roots and fixed nitrogen into the soil making them more resilient in the face of extreme weather events such as drought, which can easily wither the shorter rooted species like ryegrass, which are preferred on intensive farm systems. And the greater abundance of insect, bird and animal life resulting from this management makes farm systems more resilient to pests, parasites and diseases. With an urgent need to restore biodiversity and take action amidst the current climate emergency, expanding and connecting these nature-rich coastal grasslands across Pensheim is a solution which brings benefits both to our local natural heritage 
and helps to create sustainable farming systems that will help to safeguard our precious natural environment and the people it sustains for many generations to come. And so, when you're enjoying a walk around Penthian's rugged coastline, make sure you take the time to stop and appreciate this incredibly special habitat and the work involved in ensuring its existence. They are truly wonderful areas which will continue to be managed and expanded all around Penthian's coast for the benefit of future generations. This landscape, our people, our language and our culture are precious assets for current and future generations. In recognition of this, the Thien Eco Am Gedva, a museum without walls, encompassing the whole of the peninsula is being developed. We are collaborating to ensure that this area is a vibrant, viable and resilient home as well as a destination.